See this right here? Killcat back with another video. This is called No Party and Money. This is about 600 bucks that I saved within maybe a little bit over a month. There's all these 50s over here. I ain't playing, man. I'm not partying. I told you niggas, I'm not partying at all. You know what I'm saying? All 20s and 50s. More, more, more 50s. Oh, more 50s over here. See, this is what these bitches want. That's what these bitches want. They want this. Now, you got to take this, save this shit. I just got through with a beast of a workout. The front desk bitch, she was all over me. Her eyes got really fucking big looking at me. She was fine and short too. Your boy looking better in the gym. My muscles are cutting up a lot more. Because I haven't been drinking at all. I quit drinking. And this is what I get. Now I could say probably half of this would probably be gone if I was drinking. And still living the same lifestyle that I was living. But I changed it up. Because this is most important to me. Stacking my bread. Getting over in life man. About 600 bucks. Now, this is probably, yeah, this is probably be, probably would have been, probably been gone. You know, buying stupid shit, you know, spending your money on worthless things that can't help you in the long run. You know, we got to start looking toward the future. You know what I mean? Not right now. Fuck right now. It's all about two years, three years from now, four years from now. You know what I mean? Got to be very, very patient. That's like the fucking Pacquiao, and, um, I mean, the Mayweather and Pacquiao fight. You see how patient Mayweather was for that fucking pot? They offered him $50 million at first. And they offered uh, Pacquiao $50 million. But as time went by, the years went by, that pot kept growing. You know what I mean? It kept growing. Now he has $100 million. They offered him $100 million and he took it. And they said that. Um, some guy said that shit. Or he mentioned that shit. Um, when he was on the microphone talking, you know, making a report. You know, he said that if Mayweather would have took that shit, you know. If he would have took that shit like five years ago or five years before. Um, he wouldn't have had that money. He would have had just 50 million or at the least, you know, 20 million, you know. Mayweather said, nah, fuck that. You guys want that fight so bad? We're going to wait until that fucking pot get to 100 million or 200 million. He probably, I think he took home 200 million with all the back cash and shit like that from, from the uh, paper, pay-per-view um, revenue. You know what I'm saying? So, what I'm trying to teach here, guys, save your money, think toward the future, get your mind off right now. Think about what the future is going to be if you're disciplined. You know what I'm saying? And give up bars and clubs, stack your cash, you know what I'm saying? And your future will be bright. You know, think ahead like Mayweather. He thought ahead. He thought like he was like, if these motherfuckers want this fight so bad, they'll keep up in that price. And he sat back for years. OK, motherfucker was patient as fuck. They got that shit to 100 million, 200 million. He said, OK, now we can fight. Because he knew how bad these motherfuckers wanted that fight. And people thought that he was scared of Pacquiao. He said, nah, that money ain't right. And Pacquiao might be on something. You know what I'm saying? This is me being smart on my money. Because everything want, want this. They all want this money. Shit on TV. That's why they throw commercials at you all day long on TV. Because they want this. They want you to come up off this shit. 
That's why they pack the club full of women because they want this. They know you're going to spend this. See, the thing is, I'm learning about money. I'm doing a lot of research. I'm reading. I'm studying. I'm not, I'm just not on my ass. I'm just, I'm not sitting on my ass. You know what I'm saying? I think so. I got to cover this money up. Nah. Somebody pulled up on the next to me. So, eh, it's down a whole lot of money, but you never know. Motherfucker might jack you for it. But anyway, this is what I have saved in the last, like, month or so. Extra. This is extra. You know what I'm saying? Be smart with your money. You'll come out on top. You know, think, think, think wisely. Invest. See, the thing is, the key to money is I want to invest this money so I can see it come back to me like a boomerang within the next two to three years. You know what I'm saying? I want this. I want to invest this money so that it could come back to me. I don't want to just throw this money away and it don't come back. You know what I'm saying? You have to change your thought, change the way you think about money. You know what I'm saying? Change the way you think about it. Because you could give this money away. Okay, I'm going to go to the bar or club, right? Go to a bar or club. This $100 is going to be gone. Or $150. This is $150. I'm taking this away. This is one night at the club, okay? That's gone, okay? Let's do, let's do another. Uh, let's, go to the, let's go to the club again. This time, you spent $100. Take these two fifties, okay? A third. Well... Let's make it a hundred, a hundred bucks, hundred bucks. That's gone. Okay. Look, we went to the strip club. Okay, let's go to the strip club. Let's spend, let's spend uh, two hundred dollars at the strip club. Okay. Now you don't work your ass off, and your money's disappearing because you don't know that it's disappearing. But yeah, you, it's, your money's disappearing, man. Your money is disappearing. Okay? That's all this money gonna go. Okay? Let's go hang out with the homeboys. Let's go buy some shots at the bar real quick. I'm gonna show you where your money's going. Let's go take your girl out. Let's go take a bitch out real quick. You know, okay? We're gonna go to the bar, take your bitch out, another hundred dollars gone. Took your bitch out, you know, you hung out with your friends, your hundreds, a hundred bucks gone. Oops, I almost spent my money. Okay? Now your money's disappearing. Let's go do some stupid shit. <laughs> Let's go spend your money, you know. You went to a strip club, you know. Let's go to a strip club. We're gonna, we're gonna take this money and we're gonna go to a strip club real quick. This is about, uh, about 200 bucks. Let's go do something. Okay, look. All that money you had, gone, nigga. Doing stupid shit. Money, once that money is gone, it doesn't come back. You want your money to come back like a boomerang. You don't want to just throw that shit away. You know what I'm saying? That's all your hard work going down the drain. Yeah, you had fun, but nigga, what did you get from it, though? You know what I'm saying? You might have went out and got laid a couple of times when you went to the bar. But the money's gone now. It didn't come back. So you want your money to be gone like this? Okay, I'm going to throw this money away like this. And I want that shit to come back and triple. Double. You know what I'm saying? You want that shit to come back. I'm going to make sure my... I didn't... Uh, you know what I'm saying? I'm going to roll the window down. It's hot in this motherfucker. Can't find my keys. Okay. You know, everybody want this. Everyone, everybody want that shit, dude. This is coming from not drinking, not partying, uh, not going to do stupid shit with my money. I've been controlling myself. I've been, you know, you know, it's called self-control. You know, self-control. You get what you want when you learn how to control yourself, control your thoughts. If I do this with this money, it's not going to come back. 
if I go to the bar and fuck my money off, it's not going to come back to me. Yeah, I had fun and I was social and shit like that, but the money is gone. Okay. Anyway. Oh, yeah. I'm going to roll this one out. It's getting foggy up in here. Okay. Okay. You got to be smart with your money, man. Think two, three, four years ahead, man. You know what I'm saying? Make investments. Watch that shit grow. And you'll be happy seeing your investments grow, too. Or you'll be you'll be happy that the, the tree that you planted is growing. And you'll be like, damn, that's just getting bigger all every single day. Before you know it, it's a full-blown tree with just money hanging off of it. And all you got to do is go pick it. You know what I'm saying? You know what I mean? So you go ahead do better things with your money. Because this is what I'm going through right now, man. You know, this is what I'm going through with my money. And I have learned it. It took me a long time to figure out where my money was going. But it took me to, like, hit rock bottom broke. You know what I'm saying? When I lost my job with Lyft, I was broke. I had to turn on the app to do DoorDash. And I really learned. That really woke me up. You know what I'm saying? It woke me up. To something bigger. And this is what my enemies want too, man. This is what your enemies want from you. Your enemies will set up traps. You know, put alcohol. Put alcohol in your neighborhoods and stuff. So they can drain your resources from you. And take you down. That's what they do in war. They drain your resources. You know, by putting alcohol. Women. Chicks. You know what I'm saying? To drain all your resources because you, you can't fight, you know, if you don't have your soldiers. These these are all your soldiers. You can't fight without soldiers. This is a deadly game, man. This is a this ain't no game, ain't no joke. You know, this is all your soldiers. You need this to fight. This is called resources. You have to look at life as a as a battlefield, you know what I'm saying? To survive. Yeah, you might go without sex for a while, for a long time, but as long as you're making progress, and eventually those bitches will come once you get that, that pot big enough, you know what I'm saying? Once you make your investments and they come back and triple or double or quadruple, you know what I'm saying? But anyway, you guys have a good day. Subscribe to the channel if you, if you like this message. Subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. Leave a like and a comment, you know, and click the notification bell button so you would never, ever miss another video from me. And I'm out.